What's up guys, Adam here again, and today I'm going to be revisiting the smokeless fire pit. And I got a ton of questions and a ton of comments on that video, and I tried to address as many of those as I could, but maybe in the near future I will do a video that's more focused on doing that, touching on the key points that were made, and also doing a review of the fire pit and how it's doing. Which, real brief synopsis, it's, it's working really well. So, one of the most asked questions or points that was made though was about getting fresh air into the bottom of the fire to help feed it. And while some is going to come underneath of that ring that was installed, it's probably not going to be as much fresh air as you would want it to be. And if you look at the Solo stoves and the Brios, for instance, they have what's called a cool air intake in the bottom. So that's exactly what it's doing. It's bringing in fresh oxygenated air into the bottom of the fire to help and feed it. And the idea would be that as that's coming in and fueling the fire from the bottom, that it's just going to make the fire bigger, hotter, and this is just going to make that ring that was installed work that much better because as that fire gets bigger and hotter, it's going to make that ring get hotter. And the hotter that ring gets, the more it's going to force air out of those holes in the top of the ring, which ultimately should lead to even less smoke. Let's go ahead and just jump right into this. I really do appreciate the comments. Let's just see what happens uh, with introducing that cool air into the bottom. Let's go. So the first thing I need to do is I need to remove all of the stones that we just put there in the bottom of the fire pit. Once this installation is done, of course, I can put all of the stones back. And there's nothing I love more than doing the same job twice. Okay, so now I can start digging. There's no need to take out all of the stones, just enough to where I can start digging in the center of the fire pit and also in the direction of where the exhaust pipe is going to come in. All right guys, so I've pretty much got my holes dug now, other than having a tunnel underneath of the fire pit yet. As you can see, that's that really nasty clay. It is not very easy to dig through, but with perseverance, you can do great things, like dig this really small hole here. But the moral to the story is don't ever, ever give up. Well, unless you're doing things like stealing or murder or meth yeah those things you can quit those All right, so now that I've got my tunnel dug underneath of the fire pit, I can now lay the piping in order to bring in that nice, fresh oxygenated air into the bottom of the fire. So first I need to figure out how long I need my tubing to be. And once I've got that measurement, I can then go get my aluminum tubing and then cut it down to the appropriate sizes. Now this particular tubing is aluminum and I picked it up at my local home improvement store. It is fairly inexpensive and I shouldn't have really much of any issues with rust. So now I can lay my tubing down into the hole and once I get it down and through the tunnel to the other side and resting in place where it should be, I can then put the other 90 degree elbow on the other side that's going to go up into the intake. All right, so I should have done this while I was still up in the garage and I was cutting the metal down, but I just forgot. What I want to do now is I want to drill some holes down into the elbow in this tubing, just so that in the event that there might be some water intrusion of some kind, that it's able to get it out and it just leaches down in, into the soil. Now, I don't think that water intrusion is going to be a big issue. I really think that this will take care of the problem if there is any problem to begin with. All right, so now that I've got the tubing in place, now I can backfill this center section a little bit. Now that I've got some of the dirt backfilled in, I'm gonna put my tubing that is coming up 
into the center of the fire pit and also the tubing coming up for the intake on the outside of the fire pit. And now I can take an end cap and put it on the top of the tubing coming into the center of the fire pit. So now I'm going to put holes all the way around the top part of this tubing and also in the top part of that end cap I just put in. The end cap is going to help with keeping things out, but it's going to be one of the main sources for allowing that fresh air into the bottom of the fire pit. And it's sitting slightly above grade, so I'm not too worried about water getting into it. So it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it should definitely work. So the whole idea again is it's letting that nice fresh air out into the fire. And then of course what's not drilled out, it's going to help a little bit with making sure that things don't go down inside. Worst case scenario, if something does go down inside, you can always remove the cap here or on the outside and run a shot back down or something like that and just suck out whatever it may be. And also having this like this, it's not going to just let air just fly through here, which you don't really want because it's going to make the fire hotter and bigger and burn through logs a lot faster to where maybe you run out of logs before you're ready to be done with the fire. So now I'm going to take this half cinder block and there's no rock wando necessary. You can buy these just the way that this one is. And I'm going to pre-drill some holes into the cinder block so that I can then insert some concrete anchors. These concrete anchors are then going to hold down a wire mesh and this wire mesh is ultimately going to just serve as another barrier to help keep out debris and stone and some ash. Some is going to still get through, but it's going to help slow down debris getting down into the metal tubing, bringing in the fresh air. So now that I've got the mesh on top of the cinder block, I can now place it over the tubing that's coming up in the center of the fire pit. All right, so now we need to cap off our intake on the outside of the fire pit. I'm going to do that with this grate here. These are typically just used for groundwater, getting it away from places that you don't want it, but it's going to do a good job of allowing air in, but not letting big degree to go in. And so now I can backfill both the holes on the outside and the inside of the fire pit. I'm also going to add a really thin layer of stone over the wire mesh. This is just another barrier to help protect it and also so that the fire isn't just sitting right on top of it. So now all that's left is to have a fire. All right, so currently I've got a paver over the air intake so no air is getting to the bottom of the fire. And this is the fire I've got going on right now. And our hope is that once we remove the paver, from the intake that it's going to just make the fire a whole lot bigger. So let's give it a try. All right, so I think as you can see, the fire is definitely reacting to the oxygen coming up and feeding it from the bottom as well. The flames are a whole lot bigger. They're dancing around a little bit because it is pretty windy out here. There isn't a whole lot of smoke. It's gonna heat up that ring a lot hotter, which is just going to increase the ability to cut down on the smoke. Now again, it's never gonna be 100% smokeless, but we're trying to get as close as possible to that. All right guys, so again, I hope that you found this video to be interesting, and I would definitely say that this upgrade is well worth installing. If you've already installed the smokeless fire pit that was in the first video, which if you haven't seen that video, you can click up above now, and it'll take you to that video, get caught up on everything. If you've already installed it, you can obviously do what I did, but if you haven't installed yours yet, I would highly, highly recommend installing that air coming into the bottom of the fire pit. It definitely makes a big difference, uh, but if you don't want to do that, like I said before, the fire pit, it worked great to begin with, but better is always better. So if you found this video to be interesting, please let me know by leaving a comment down in the comment section and also giving the video a thumbs up. And if you like videos like I did here today, then consider hitting that red subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.